This room is all a tall pig room, a crab room, a loom hook, a yarn needle. You can use a plastic one. I do have a plastic one if you will like to see it. And yes, this pink thing over on the side of the video is my pencil box where I keep all my hooks. Yes, this is a plastic one, but I don't use it because the top breaks and it like bends. So yeah, I don't like to use it. So, you need some stuffing. Got a whole bag of stuffing. You can use any kind of stuffing you like. You will need some white yarn for this project. Some scissors. If you, you, I would recommend getting this book because it's easy to keep track of all your projects that you have. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I got one at Hobby Lobby. But that's the only one we saw. We had to order two more because we did. We went back to Hobby Lobby. Lobby. We didn't see any more of these books. So make sure you go check out my pumpkin video. It's on YouTube and. My cute doggy video, I just posted it a few minutes ago. Go check that out if you're interested. You go. So. so. Let's get started. So, oh yeah. You'll need some puffy paint too. It takes four hours to dry, or you could just sew the get black thread and the sew the eye on it. And also, you need some black yarn and whatever color you want for your snowman skull. I am gonna do red. I just think it will look cute with red. We can use any color you want. So what you will have to now. Let's get started. Ma make your slip knot. It, if you don't know how to do the slip knot, go over like that, like this. Put it on your ankle peg, like that, and then you'll do the E wrap, just all the way around the pegs, all the way around the limb. And now when you reach back to your anchor peg, do the same again. You have two, you should have two loops on each peg. It should look like that. And now get your loom hook and knit off every peg that has two loops. You'll need black for the snowman's hat. Now put these down. Now you can remove your slip knot from your anchor peg. And now you will do this for 15 rows and I will see you guys back here when you have your 15 rows all finished. So I will show you what you would do next when you have your all your 15 rows finished. Bye guys. Happy looming. Now take your yarn and wrap it around all the pegs and now get your scissors and cut. And then you get your hook and lay your yarn on top and then that.
And yes, I'm a left-handed, by the way. We do this one all the way around the limb. And then I will see you guys back. See you guys back. When you guys get back to the anchor peg, okay? So now when you get back to your anchor peg, you, all you do is just take these off the wrong way. You can use it by your hand, you can take it off by the hook. And you can show your hook down, remove the loom. Put the loom aside, you won't need it for a long time. And then you just pull this. And then you get your, you will put this, this, inside, it looks like a hat. And when you have that inside, turn it inside out, pull, wet it a little bit, and then you put the needle and sew the hole closed. If you hear anybody talking in the back one, that is my brother. He's downstairs. I will try to add him up, but I don't know if I can. I'm not good at all. So now when you have the whole sewed and you think it's all right. Now you just trim that up, flip it back onto the side, and now you'll get your stuffing, your polyfill, whatever stuffing you have, you're using, you need get your stuffing and stuff it in. So now when you have your stuffing in there, now you will pull it tight. So now when you have your stuffing in there, and then you get your needle off your thread.
and then you will cut this off and you will get a piece of your arm to make the head shape it with your finger and you just like that so just make sure that it's tight and pull so So now you have your snowman almost finished. So now let's get started on the snowman's hat. So you need some black. Pull that stuff. There's glue on the black, so I might just have to cut that. Yeah, cut it. In. So yeah, now you'll need two strands of the black. Make to make a slip knot. Put it on your ankle peg and do the e e wrap to about like five or so continue to you have two two rows of e wrap. And then you will knit off every peg that has two loops. So I was, so you would do this to like five or six rows. If you think you have a, the hat will fit on your snowman, I will say about five or six, five, six, seven rows. And I will see you guys back here when you have your hat done. And I will see, show you guys what you do next. So bye guys, happy looming. So you will wrap the yarn around the pegs, cut, and then you will do the same what you did with the snowman. Lay the yarn on the top and pull. Good. the yarn on top and pull it through. So you'll do that all the way around the limb for each peg. This is going to be your snowman's hat. So you're not going to stuff this. Now you will just take all these off the loom and you reach back to your ankle peg. Now 
Now we set your loom down. You will not need up for the rest of the puzzle. You don't need it. So just pull this tight and get your needle. So both ends to get on here. Yes, that's my brother. So I'm still. And then you cut and then you flip it back in for this piece here just tie a knot and then cut that make sure it's all tied good then you can cut this and then you get another piece of black string, not a big piece. Oh. Yeah, that's my brother's going now. Then you will thread this onto your needle. And then set the other side, put your snowman hat on your snowman. And then you get your th black thread and sew the hat on. I love making snowmen during the holidays because I think they're really cute. So I'm going to make 20 of these and give them to my friend. So that she can try to sell them. So that this will be one. I'm going to put these all in a, a separate basket for her. So I'm going to make them. I'm going to give them to her on November 1st. So she can try to sell them. They're just so cute. Okay, now when you have that sewed on, your hat sewed on, just tie your knot and then cut the yarn. So there's your hat on your snowman. So now you will get. The black puffy paint. Yeah. 
I just got it on me so but I won't so yeah. So there it is. We you're not finished yet. I'm going to say this is orange, but it looks orange, so I'm going to put it for the nose. Yeah. So now, you have your snowman complete. Not completed yet, but almost complete. Now, if you want to add buttons, I'm going to add two black buttons just to look cute. So now, you have to let that dry for four hours. So now, what you can do is set your snowman aside, your little cute one, and get a color. I'm getting red. And we're now we're going to make the skull for the snowman. So you will need three red pieces. So now when you have your three red pieces done, and you will need a black, little black piece for hanging, but you will not put that on until you have your that dries. So now when you get your three pieces, just tie a knot on top. If you know how to braid, I do, that's what we'll be doing for you. the scarf well you will not put this on the scarf the snowman till he he is dry He's wet right now because we just did the paint and got it on my thumb. So yeah, you have to be really careful with that paint. If you get it on your clothes, it won't come out, but if you get it on your hands, it does come out. Because I have it still has black paint on it from using this. It's one of my favorite shirts. So, yeah. And I think I was doing, um, Darlene's, yeah, Darlene's dog and Carrie's bunny and that's how that happened got on one of my shirts that's how i got the black paint on one of my shirts i was doing a bunny for carrie and darling a dog passes they are my friends so yeah shout out to darling and carrie Hey, Darlene and Carrie, if you're watching this, uh, I said, hello. What are you up to?
Why does my voice are in the background if you wonder? So we're coming to the end on this scarf. So I will show you guys what you would do when you finish braiding. It's like braiding hair. That's pretty much what it is. I think I learned braiding from my mom because I never knew how I did it before to I practice and I got a hang of it. Just keep practicing. Never give up. You will eventually get to learn how to do looming and you will love it like I am. Like I do. Never give up. I tell my friend Darlene that all the time. Be yourself. You can do it. Right now Darlene is working on a blanket for Carrie. And the yarn, I hate that yarn Carrie picked. So I just gave that blanket to Darlene so she can finish Carrie's work because I'm not doing it. I hate that yarn. I'll take it off the loom when Darlene has it finished, but I'm not. Doing the whole blanket. No way. I did my blanket and I did Darlene's blanket, but some reason that yarn Carrie has, it's like the yarn is keep falling apart. And I hate it, That's and it feels weird. So yeah. So now when you come into Comments to the closer, just tie a knot at the bottom like you did the top. Ah, yes, that's my out. brother. And then you get will cut this. And then, and then you will cut this. So yeah. Thanks. You will not put this on the snowman yet till it dries. So, so you have finished your snowman. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. See you guys back in my next loom knitting video. Bye guys. Happy looming.